welcome back to the vlog uh it's monday morning monday morning uh we're going to the gym we have spanish class we're going to the craft store home depot pick up laundry mini grocery store run all those things to occur today but if you know me you know I think there's like six things, four might, may or may not get done. Six may get done, two may get done. But either way, we have our, our, our intentions for the day. Oh, and also we need to spray around the house with all the rain. This morning when I took the puppy out, I was attacked violently by mosquitoes. So I sprayed this this morning. This is a natural, brand type thing like you know i don't i don't i'm not a big fan of the natural stuff i know some people like the all natural i'm not a big fan of the all natural i don't mind some good chemicals but my chemical stuff is in the car so i have the pump i have the the, the pump to spray uh, when I come back from the gym, I don't want to spray. I don't want to spray and then go to the to the gym and then um, smell like spray. I don't know. So when I come back from the gym, then I will spray before I shower to go to Spanish class. So we have just enough time. We are like on schedule this morning i love this for myself that i am starting to get in a schedule I'm starting to get into a routine uh, we are 21 days into recording not 21 days into posting we're only like 17 days into posting yeah 17 days into posting but 21 days of recording and october is, is, is doing a lot better for me remembering to turn on the camera for remembering to to say things so it's getting better it's a lot better today than it was a year ago a year ago yeah i wish i just i just want a little muscle to pop up a little bit just a little bit you know we got this going on right here yeah i i, I would like for it to be something a little more defined you see this arm this must be my strong arm because this arm it's like i just ignore it i don't know how to get this one like this one this one is coming together so now i'm gonna have to like you know what i'm saying just see just it's just one arm this arm this arm is like a little bit a little bit we got a little tricep action here on this one but mm. I don't know I can't see the back Anyway, let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. We got a lot of work. We have a lot of work to do. It's not over. It's not over at the end of October. It, keep, it keeps going. It keeps going. It's good to see some results, though. I will honestly say it is good to see results. Like, I want one day to be like, this be no more. Like, I want it to be completely gone. One day. One day it will happen. It's not today, though. Thus, we must go to the gym. So let's go to the gym.
get it updated. I went to um, Spanish class. Then I went to a Fantasia San Miguel. It was a very quick, it was an in and out trip, honestly. I got two bags of this. It's 200 grams. So I needed 250, but I got a little extra because they were only like 40 or 50 pesos. So it was a great price, like $3. Well, actually, like, because today the peso is at 20 to 1, so like 250. And then I got these little foam brush brushes. Um, and I got some white paint to do the banding around the tongue and to paint those um, teeth that I did that are pink. Now we are going to go into Home Depot and um, get spray paint, white spray paint and black electrical tape. So let's go. Walmart was Walmarting, child. They don't. I just don't for the life of me don't understand why they don't have more registers open. I also don't for the life of me don't understand why it's Monday and it was so crowded. These I don't know questions that need answers. My last stop is to pick up my laundry and then I'll see y'all back at the house and we'll we'll talk about all, all the money I spent today. <laughs> Uh, well, that's what we'll talk about once we get back to the house because it's chat. It is hot. It's so hot today. All right, well, let's go. God, I feel like I've just been out doing so much today. I really haven't done a lot. I just had a lot of things to get accomplished, but we'll talk about it when I get back to the house. All right. <clears throat> Mexico and I have I have a gecko riding on the car with me like <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my god okay I'm back home <laughs> we made all of our stops we made all we made all of our stops so let's go through I'm not gonna go through what I got from Walmart I just picked up some food food I want to picked up this this thing this Christmas star for our tree but i'll do like all the christmas stuff later but i pretty much just got food at walmart okay so let's go okay so mini so i stopped there mini so is like a i don't know it's like a, i don't know i call it a little girl store <laughs> i don't know what else what else it could be considered i pick up little like hygiene items there as well but we love mini so so 
Janai's bestie's birthday is Saturday, so I made her a little basket. Uh, so it's this little shopping basket, so she can put like her hygiene items or she could play with it, use it as a toy, whatever she wants to do with it. Her favorite um, Sanrio char character is Cinnamon Roll, so I got her this Cinnamon Roll uh, little like cup. Um, a headband thingy. And a little notebook. And this little, it's a keychain, but I know most of the kids use them just for like their bags and stuff like that. And then she has a birthday card that Janai made and we'll just put that in there and boom, like this will be her birthday basket. While I was there, I also got this notebook. And if you're like me, you're probably like, why did you buy another notebook? I need another notebook because I'm working on a project. So I need this notebook for that project, spe specifically for that project. And while I was there, I also got these dentist sticks. They're like $5 and you get a whole bunch of them. I don't remember, 180. So these are cheaper at Miniso than at Walmart. And we are like low, low, low. So that's what we got. And then no cliff. No, I don't know where this receipt can, comes from. Oh, this from Mini, so I don't know. It's five hundred. All of that was five hundred pesos. Uh, we went to Fantasia Miguel, and we got more of the white molding clay. I said I needed 200 grams, I mean 250 grams more. They come in these big packs are 200 grams and they were like 30 pesos or something like that. 28 pesos, I went ahead and got two. I'd rather have more than less. That's, rather have more than less. And I got this foam brush and some white paint. And my last stop, was a uh, Home Depot and in Home Depot I got this ultra uh, white two times the coverage so hopefully this will you know help me eliminate any issues that I might have and then I got this roll of electrical tape I think it's enough to do you know four feet of of wrapping so that's what I got from the store uh, I also picked up from Walmart these, this rosemary rotisserie chicken. You're probably going to see it in the video. They typically don't have the rosemary ones. They usually just have the, I forgot the name of the other ones. But these rosemary ones from Walmart, they hit every time if they have them. That's the problem, if they have them. And they had them today, so I definitely got um I definitely got me one and that's what I'm gonna have I have some black beans black beans in the um, black beans in the microwave the the microwave white mic the micro mic what? the microwavable ones they're in the microwave okay and I'm probably gonna do uh, some cheese and some aguacate, avocado, and some cheese on top of the black beans with some chicken and make me a protein bowl. That's what I'm gonna do because this morning when I left the house, one of the reasons why I'm making the egg bakes, I forgot the eggs. I, you, you know, I always forget, so I forgot eggs. I forgot eggs. Okay, one of the reasons for making an egg base is having quick bites to eat. Um, having quick bites to eat that are protein packed. And this morning I left and normally I leave and I take like two protein shakes with me. But this morning I had like 30 minutes to do everything I needed to do and get out of the door to be on time to class, to Spanish class. And then I got down the road and I... It was like, oh shoot, I forgot it. So I stopped at the OXO. Ox some OXOs have protein.
some don't. Something is in my eye, y'all. I'm sorry. Some oxos have protein. Some do not. I was hoping that that oxo did. It did not. So then I spent my minute. Just spent a necessary amount of time just walking around in a circle thinking. And then I saw some nuts. So I picked up the nuts. And um, one pack was like 23 grams of protein for just, it was just peanuts and cashews and almonds. High in fat. High in fat. However, you know, it's kind of one of them things. It's like, you pick, you pick your poison. Like, would I rather have more carbs or would I rather have more fat? And at that moment, the 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 fat won. You know, for the for for the sake of the protein. So that's the reason why I am um, just doing a protein heavy lunch. Because I guess you could consider that was my breakfast when I first came came in. Um, I drank a protein shake, and now I'm going to make myself this chicken bowl before I do some stuff on my computer because tomorrow I have a meeting in the morning at like 8 30 ish I think so I need to get all that done before I have to go into that meeting in the morning and then once I finish that then I will focus on my trunk or treat project now that I have everything I think that I need I should be I should be able to get everything done for that so now i'm gonna make me something to eat Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> it's crazy back here. Mm -hmm. It is five, it's 5.50 a.m. I got up this morning and I was waiting for the sun to come up a little bit before I left the house. I was going to walk around and do cardio in my neighborhood for like 45 minutes. Uh, and I was like, okay, cool. So I got to do what I need to do this morning. And then I'm just waiting for the sun, you know, to come up a little bit. And I went outside to my car to get my laundry out the car because I left the laundry in the car yesterday. And when I went out there, just in that little bit of time, I was like attacked by mosquitoes. Like I was a bit twice. I had on like shorts and it got my legs twice. The reason why I had to go get my laundry out the car is because I only had shorts left in the house. I didn't have any like capri or full length workout pants in the house. Um, they've all, they're all in laundry, either in the clean laundry in the car or the dirty laundry. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I can't do, I cannot do cardio in shorts. If you got thighs like I got thighs, these are not do cardio in shorts thighs, baby, because they just be like, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you know i don't need an excuse to stop doing cardio and you know my thighs itching rubbing together all that woo -woo -woo -woo, i would have decided mm -mm, no, i don't want to you know eight minutes in i would have gave up so <laughs> i i got dressed and i'm going to go ahead and go to the gym now i have to be in a meeting at 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. So I need to leave. Like right now, right now, I need to be back. Oh, I got plenty of time. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I have plenty of time. But yeah, I just need to be back. Um, That way I can do a, like a little face and just a basic black top because you know what I'm seeing. It'd be business up top, party down bottom when you do virtual meetings. Um, but basically, just really put on just like a light face and moisturize my hair because right now, my girls just do whatever they want to do. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They just do whatever. 
they, they just unruly. I love them though. I'm so happy my hair is growing back. Like I need to find somebody in Merida who can catch like two inches of hair. Cause that's what I got. I feel like that's enough. When I was in Indianapolis, when I had cut, cut my hair the first time. So when I went to Indianapolis in April, April time frame. I went to one of the braid shops there and actually some Cameroonians and ended up braiding my hair. And, um, you know, these are always the short, shortest parts, which are the size. So my hair was about this length. Cause I remember I, I'm able to braid it a little bit. So if you, if I can do it and I am not a professional, then you definitely can, you definitely can do it. If you a professional like you say you are. No, I'm playing. I ain't seeing that. But y'all yeah, need to find somebody that can catch uh, catch my imagination. Somebody that can grab at a tablespoon of hair, you know what I'm saying? Because if they can't, because it's this part, these are my shortest parts, and then back here. I wonder what the back of my head look like. This is going to be interesting to watch back in editing. <laughs> And I don't comb my hair. Uh, I don't comb my hair. I have historically pulled at my hair. So y'all might see videos. I'm always like doing this or whatever. I don't know why I do that. I've always um, done that. What I'm thinking, I pull at my hair. I wonder. I'm, now I have to Google it. Now I must ask Chat GPT why I tug at my hair. Watch somebody about to diagnose me with something crazy. All right. Well, let's go to the gym. I'm thinking my goal is always to get at least 15 minutes on that stair stepper. And if we can get at least 15 on there, then we'll do try to do 30 on the treadmill with an incline. I don't know. Let's see if we can do it. It's just cardio today. There'll be no weightlifting. Let's get it. I'm gonna clean this. Well, it's just not much of a mess. This is all stuff I need to drop off to somebody. This is my bag I take to school with like my um, notebook and everything. I just need to put it away. And then the peanut butter needs to go in the cabinet. And then my coffee. In my bag that I'm about to take with me. It's not that bad. It just looks bad on camera. Anyway, let's go, y'all. Welcome back. I know it's been a few days. If you're seeing this in the vlog, so I'm not going to post the video then post another video. So I'm just going to edit them together. And the last, the last vlog posted, I don't remember, but the last vlog recorded was a snippet of the last day I recorded and then everything just kind of like blew up right everything just kind of everything just kind of blew up but it's okay though it's okay it's okay everything is okay it is Saturday it's like 7 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym we have a birthday party later probably record just a, a, a little bit of it because you know I don't I don't record kids stuff but I'll tell you what happened I'll tell you I'll tell you what happened so Tuesday morning I went to the gym Went to the gym Tuesday morning, went in, got my workout in. It was early. Gym was empty. Things was good. Okay. I had a meeting at 8.30, a very important meeting at 8.30. I came out of the gym at, say, like 7.50, right? Live 10 minutes from the gym. No biggie. Go home. Go take a shower. You know, woo -de woo And... It, 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 you know, have my meeting, like, no big deal. Uh, 
Okay, um, I don't know what happened. I don't know why everything's falling over today. <laughs> so I come out of the gym and I, I get into the car. I turn the key. It doesn't even, it makes zero. Why is nothing standing up today? Okay, so this worked. So I got in the car. I turned the key. Nothing. Not a click, not a clank, not a nothing. It just it just was like nothing. Not even like a click 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 click. Nothing. It was just I was like <laughs> So, you know, you check the gear, you make sure you're pressing on the brake, take the key out, put the key back in. I didn't have time to process it. I did not have time to process. So I left my car at the gym. I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh my God, what if I don't get an Uber? I have to call, cross the freeway because there's a roundabout, but it's rush hour. Like it's rush hour at this point. So if I'm trying to get the Uber to pick me up at the gym, we have to go out in the roundabout. That's going to add 10 minutes. 15 checks you never know so i'm having to cross the freeway it's a three-lane freeway okay it's a three-lane it's a three-lane highway but in mexico it's four because the shoulder is an unofficial fourth lane it's not like it's kind of like hov hov a little bit and the police riding everybody riding donkey and carriage riding everybody riding it just opens up when traffic gets full the shoulder turns into a lane and it's, it's what's understood don't need to be explained. So not am I only crossing what three lanes of crossing four lanes of traffic. So I'm like, Phew. so I look on the Uber app. I log on to Uber. It says I, a car can pick me up across the street at the gas station in three minutes. I'm like, okay, cool. I grab my bag, grab my keys. And I, I lock the car and I just go across. I just go across the freeway. When I get to the gas station, the Uber car pulls up at like the exact same time. So then my best friend is calling and she's just like calling to say, hey, you know, I just want to say good luck with what you got going on. And at that moment, I realized I left my keys in the car. I had my car key. I left my house keys in the car. My baby sleeps like a rock. Like a, she is not waking up. She's not waking up. The dog will bark, the dog will, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I'm I'm on crunch time at this point. At this point, I got like 15 minutes. Like I'm like 15 minutes. I got 15, I have 15 minutes. It was like 32 minutes when I called the Uber. It, and then it was, no, it was like less than 30 minutes when I called the Uber. It was, it, it was, listen y'all, I, I can't even get a timeline, but time was ticking. At this point, I'm gonna have, I have like 15 minutes. And we're, we're coming through the gate. And I'm like, somebody, I'm like, oh my God. Like, you know, Nah does not wake up. Like, Jay Mike, uh, Jax Mike can wake her up. Oh my God, you know. Woo -woo. And so the Uber driver understands me, right? And he's telling me in English and Spanish, Spanish, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be okay. You know, we pull up at the house and he just looks over and he's like, check the gate. And I'm like, oh no, the gate, the gate's not open. I always lock this gate. The only person that uses the gate is the pool guy. That's it. But other than that, the gate stays locked. He's like, no, sometimes the gate is open. Check the gate. I'm like, okay. So he sits there and he's watching. I go over y'all. The gate is unlocked. The gate is unlocked. The gate is never unlocked. The gate is unlocked. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I know the back patio was unlocked. So I watered the plants on the back patio. And I was certain I had not unlocked it. I, in my mind, was planning to scale and climb over the gate. That, But the guy said, check the gate. I checked the gate. And the gate was open. And he was like, it's okay. God bless you. Everything is going to work out. You know, and I'm like, okay, thank you. Go to the back. Kitchen sliding door was unlocked. I came in, right? Everything worked out. Meeting was great. I will be, like, telling y'all about it. Give me, like, two weeks. And then I'll tell y'all about that project I'm working on. And I was just like, oh, my God. It was so crazy. Um, now, present day, four days later, I have a phobia of the gate being unlocked. Yeah. So now I <laughs> so now I obsessively check the gate. Have I unlocked the gate since then? No. 
No, I have not unlocked. I have not opened the gate. The cool guy has not even been back. He was supposed to come yesterday. He did not come yesterday. The gate has not been unlocked. But what do I do? I go check that gate. I, every night I am check, I am obsessively checking that gate. Because the gate has never been. Now the gate has never been unlocked. It has never. It just this was like. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, new phobia unlocked. New phobia unlocked, but everything worked out for that meeting. However, uh, when the car got towed, like, like if the car won't even go, the car won't even go into neutral. It's like, oh, you, you might have a bigger issue because the car has to be put in neutral in order for them to be able to roll the wheels to to you know tow it. Car couldn't go into neutral or whatnot. Um, Long story short, it, it was something to do with the connector for the battery, but it took them a few days to figure it out. The battery just got to do, the car just got a new battery, new alternator, new start, starter like three weeks ago. <sighs> anyway, life was life then. So what did I do all week? Uh, worked on my project. Uh, did not go to the gym. Did not walk. Uh, Mother Nature hit, you know, I was telling y'all other day, Mother Nature hit, so... We was just, we just been in the house chilling, eating, sleeping, reading, doing nothing productive. We have done nothing productive. Well, yes, I have, I have, but I can't really, you know, I have done something productive. But as far as like for my personal, well, that is my part of my personal goals, but for my physical being, well being, we have not done anything. So this morning we will go to the gym, and when we come back from the gym, we um, have to wash embraid Janai's hair uh, and that's it for the day but that's the update that's where I have been for the last four days so you all will see this on Sunday it's Saturday you all will see this on Sunday I have I don't have think I have much more to contribute after the gym because uh, I don't want the video to be too long either okay I don't know. bye y'all so I know the video quality is terrible but uh, I got an Amazon package. So yesterday when I was coming in, they told me that the Amazon guy was there delivering packages like right before I got in. Anyone long story short, I guess he went to my house first. So I missed him. Anyway, he left this at the uh, gate. It's my baby's um Halloween costume. I am not making her costume this year. Because you know, she just, you know, she just don't act right sometimes. My biggest concern are these. These are the leggings. These are the leggings for the costume. As you can see, my child's leg is not this wide. To be quite honest, my child's leg, my child's leg ain't very big, child. Um, I had to buy it a size up for length, child. They, 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 you know, they be making it. You know, they be making clothes. I don't know who they be making the clothes for, y'all. I don't know. Anyway, you know, this is just a little quick fix. We'll just center the button and, and take it in. We'll just chop off a side of it and then. So that's an easy fix. And then the top. Mm, the top is going to be too big, so we'll probably cut it in the back. Or cut it in half. Mm, now, because that's going to make it. We'll just cut it in the back and take it in. Or we can cut it in the side. Probably cut the sides and take it in. I'm not re, re sewing a sleeve. And these are the arm cuffs. Yeah, I probably have to. Probably, yeah, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. Because if these fit, look, look at this. These fit on me. 
this is not a this is not a little girl this is not a little girl's medium like let's be honest i i know it was going i saw i read in the comments it said that they run big she most likely needed a extra small and if it ran big she probably needed extra extra small but they didn't even have small or small or um extra small or extra extra small so i got her a medium and child this is big. i know it's gonna be big but i didn't think it'll be this big yeah this this can almost fit on me child anyway so yes this is her her costume yeah can y'all guess who she's gonna be based on the on the outfit i ain't gonna tell y'all i just gotta guess until we come down to it i am still waiting on her hair her hair and um the character has like these long like they're like long on the outside wispy lashes so we got to go to the beauty, one of the beauty stores and find some like long, but they're only long on the outside. So I'm probably going to have to like put a regular set of lashes and then cut some long, some like some, you know, I don't know, 30 millimeters <laughs> and put them on the, um, on the outside for her. But we still have time to, to, to do that. That should be something that's, that's easy to accomplish. Um, that should be something that's easy to, and we still have lashes from like the last couple times she's done costumes. So we should have something in the, for basic lashes. We just need to find those extra long ones for the, um, for the corners. And then other than that, uh, I'm going to buy like some, uh, get like some purple spray paint and buy like some Walmart slides and spray paint them this color purple the 26 we have we have five days okay i need to do her costume tomorrow and then yeah i need to do her costume tomorrow i need her costume to be finished we have five days yeah oh my god and we really don't even have a full five days because for trunk or treat, I have to be there by like, I think four or four thirty. I can't remember. Hmm. Okay. 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 No pressure. We got this. We've done this. We've done this. We're creatives running a little behind schedule. It'd be okay. We got this. We got this. We are like for real black people because we're, we're putting this, we're put, child labor. Uh -huh. <laughs> because we're putting these stuff in there. You put the birthday card in there? Oh, you can put it in last. Okay, we're putting the, putting the stuff in the, in the bag. I guess it's child labor to have her put the party bag together. Anyway, we're, we're off to the we're off to the birthday party finally i haven't i didn't vlog anything today i didn't vlog anything today but yeah i'm to the birthday party uh it's only five minutes away but there's an accident reported so why are you breathing so hard That's my arms hurt. your arms hurt these kids nowadays i'll tell you so I want y'all to fully understand what I was talking about when I said it's four lanes. Y'all see that white car, Mazda, gray car, and and semi. It, it's four lanes. This is it's a three-lane highway. An accident happened. It's rush hour. So now it's a four lane because the shoulder is now a, a, a lane. I think I was just talking about this earlier in the vlog. I swear it's crazy. <laughs>
Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Do y'all miss me? I know it's 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 been a minute. It has. It's been a minute. Uh, what have I been doing? Oh my god, so much, so much, and I, yeah. So let's talk about it. So this video is probably going to air after Halloween. So I said November 1st. So November 1st, I would share the information. So I can start it here in this video confidently. I am still working on the um, worm from Beetlejuice for the trunk or treat tomorrow. <clears throat> I have been like literally so busy with so many other things and also like compartmentalization issues. I let this get to the back burner. I let this get to the back burner, which is it's no one's fault. I mean, it's no one's fault. It's just life, right? Like when I'm stressed out, I just have to make a decision. Like we just, we just got to prioritize what's important. So right now at this moment, what's important? Finishing the worm, braiding Janai's hair, and I have to take in um, her uh, skirt on her Halloween costume. But that right there is like a hour, 90 minute task for me to do right there. So I'm gonna save the, the skirt for last. Like the skirt is like, it is, but this thing, each of these little pieces are made of like this phonies, which is this type of foam. And baby, I um I have never worked with this material before. So it's it's giving me a little bit, it's giving me a little bit of a of a run for my money as far as like working with the working with it. It's my first time. Will I use it again? I will definitely use it again. I can definitely see me um doing more projects. More bless you more projects with it um so i don't know if y'all remember but i said it, it's like 54 teeth i just finished i just finished the first set of however many this is uh, i just finished i just finished this set so now i'm rolling out the 25 i need for the top row of teeth the other thing is um they're all like leaning so i don't mind them leaning in a little bit but they can't like lean into each other too much so i'm rolling the top set of teeth but then i also have to do the outer mouth teeth as well and i need 16 teeth for that <laughs> but i haven't started on the outer mouth at all but it's cardboard paint and tape so i I'm, I'm pretty proficient in cardboard crafts. <sighs> but yeah, so let's talk about it. Let me turn the light on. It's getting dark because it's about the star storm. Oh. Okay, so let's talk about it. What's going on? I'm leaving Merida. <laughs> it's not a secret. It's not a secret. Uh, I have been working on this for a couple months. A couple months. Leaving Merida. Um, for me, it comes down to my daughter's education. Uh, she's at a point where she needs more in-depth education than I feel I can provide. Um, some people say homeschool kids do just fine without formal education, and I believe that. I also believe it depends on the child and also depends on the parent. So, what has occurred? I went back to school. I'm not in school right now because I had to take a break because you know we're transitioning and i've been job hunting having interviews weekly looking for a place to live looking for a car uh, looking for jobs <laughs> like all these things that i have been doing just like to prepare myself to go back to the u.s now i know some people are like well, you know, safety data. I never left the U.S. because I felt more unsafe than usual. Um, we already know I um I, I I towed a little something with me it it, it uh, regularly, and I am well trained on it. 
However, I don't think I've ever felt um, extremely unsafe uh, in the U.S. Uh, I also believe in situation awareness. I also believe in doing the best you can and staying, you know, in the best places. Uh, and just things, you know, for just general safety. Do I believe anything can pop off in the U.S.? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, am, I am no fool. I know that something can pop off at any given time in the U.S., uh, however, the same thing can happen here in Mexico. I love how people are always like, oh, Merida is so safe. It is. It is. I, I went to pay my electric bill today. I got out to go to the, the little electric bill ATM. I left my bag on my seat like a fool. Like a fool. I, I would still like to say like a fool. I left my bag on my seat and the key in the ignition. Did anybody bother? No. Was there a security guard right there? Yes. Like, but in the United States, that is absolutely insane. You know, that's absolutely insane. And I just tell my best friend, like, I have got to stop being just careless. It's irresponsible. It's careless. So, <clears throat> with that being said, um, I know I'm making a lot of noise. Sorry, guys. Um, so, with that being said, I am aware of the safety. The safety is my biggest, is the biggest concern in all of these situations um, in returning to the U.S., um, I left the U.S. because I didn't want to work. I have never hidden that fact. I have never hidden the fact. I left the U.S. because I did not want to work. I did not leave the U.S. for racial inequality. I did not leave the U.S. for financial inequality. I did not leave the U.S. for healing or any other reasons that people come to the Yucatan. I came here because I could just afford to come here and not have to <laughs> Now I have to work. That's the reason why I came to Merida um, and to immerse in the culture and to, you know, improve my Spanish. To improve my Spanish, to raise my daughter abroad so that she could fully, honestly, you do. A lot of people take for granted life in the U.S. Um, when we were back home in August. We we were we at that point we were ready. Like if we could have just stayed then we probably could have. I think our cousin cousins or uh, uh, auntie or a brother or sister one of them would have let us live with them. But it just wasn't right. <laughs> it wasn't the time. Plus our puppy was still here. But we just enjoyed it. We had our family. Um, we got to do a lot of good shopping, some good eating. And it just really reminded us, like, why we love being in the U.S. It just was, it was, it was just refreshing, you know. So, if taken away, I said I was leaving the U.S. to retire. And now I'm calling it a sabbatical because I'm, I can't retire um, because my daughter needs to go back to the U.S. She wants to go back to the U.S. She wants to go to school. We were going to go to school here at a... Uh, a school i'm not gonna say a name because i don't want to like this spiritual school but the school just didn't meet my standards for where we're at right now in life and i bumped into another family that had been abroad <clears throat> and they were talking about how they, their kid was in international school and when they went back to the u.s their kids transcripts didn't transfer back the two oldest kids had to take full-time classes, saturday class in addition to going to the community college to catch up on the state standard schoolwork and i remember when my niece moved from california to texas with me she had to take zero period so she had to start school 45 minutes before her peers um and she had to take an after school class for like the first semester of school to catch up so that coming from california to texas she could meet the state standard because they were different um, I and she not that she had bad grades. She's an AB AB student. Shout out to my my niece Nene. She's a nurse, nurse nurse Callie. Um, and I just I don't want that for my daughter. I had the luxury of moving about the world freely. Ultimately, it's because of my it's because of my education. Um, I have a master's degree. I'm pursuing my doctorate. I have, also have teacher credentialing as well as three other uh, degrees. I have that. I, ha I have that to fall back on. There's no shortage of employment opportunity for me. <laughs> There's no 
shortage of employment opportunity for me. I do not want to shortchange my daughter on that. So yeah, we'll go back to the U.S. Um, if I got to do, you know, six years in the trenches in the U.S., uh, I do six years in the trenches in the U.S. You know, this as a parent, you make sacrifices for your kids. No other parent here has told me with their chest that the school that their kid is in is worth the money that they're paying. It may be good enough for them, but it's not good enough for me. Every kid is different. Every parent is different. But for me, if we can't homeschool, we got to go home to the U.S. and go to school. Um, I've never once said, you know, I was going to renounce my citizenship. I have always expressed that if ever the U, if ever things weren't working in Mexico, I would leave. I would leave. So what, what does leaving look like? Well, we have at about this point of the airing of this video, we'll have um, about 30 days, 30 days left here. And then we'll go back to the U.S. For the first month or so, I will be house hopping between friends and family. That's why I love them so. I'll be house hopping between friends and family. Um, the baby will do her holiday rotation that she does every year with her dad and her family in Los, her dad and her family in Los Angeles. You need water? Let me get Jack's water, I'll be back. Come on. Okay, I'm back. So, um, what does that look like? We're going back, staying with friends and family. And I'll say for like the first 30 days, the goal is to have a place by January 1st, right? Like I, I can't do sight unseen booking a place. I did that coming from LA, moving from LA to Dallas. And it was supposed to be a luxury apartment. I got in there and baby, it was not, the, it was not what I was used to for what they was charging me. So, um, I'm not going to do that. So thankfully we don't see the tongue. So thankfully I have friends and family <clears throat> and we'll just house hop and just visit for the first, um, for the first month. But in that time, Janai will go to her dad for her holiday visit. So it's not like we will both be house hopping. Um, it'll just be me house hopping uh, and Jax, of course. And in that time, hopefully I will have found a place. And between now and then, hopefully a job will have come through. I've gotten very, very positive feedback um very positive feedback i'm going back into the federal system <laughs> i'm not not going on to the private market circus baby with all them layoffs and i can't do it i'm not that girl i love i love good stability in my life so um i'm going back to the federal government but we all know that takes time uh, today I had an interview for a job I applied for September 8th. It's October 30th. It's October 30th. They just got around to interviewing and they're like, you know, it could be any number, any number of time, you know. Anyway, if it, when time comes, we'll pivot. If we have to, we'll pivot. However, it's just time to close this, close this chapter out. Um, and plus, you know, it's good to be, it'll be good to be back in the States with family for the holiday. I have, I have not been in the States for holiday since 2021. So it'd be great to, to start the new year, start the new year in the new state. Um, what else? That's about it at this point. That's about it. That's the update. That's the update. Um, my friends here know my family has my family and best friends have already um, have already known. My friends here know. I don't think there's anybody that I associate with that doesn't know already. So if you're finding out you're one of my people, you just now finding out. Sorry. But for the most part, everybody I know already knows what's up.
and then what else yeah that's a that's about it you know that's that's just where we are in life do i feel any shame absolutely not absolutely absolutely not i think it's so crazy when i see people staying here and it's not meeting their needs i think it's crazy when people stay here and financially struggle you know i think that's that is insane i think it's like people don't want to go back because they don't want their family to say i told you so or they left on ill terms or whatever what i don't know whatever the case may be um there are so many people that are like afraid or ashamed um they don't want to tell people they just kind of like sneak out of the they sneak into the country and sneak out the country <laughs> and i think that's now if you're a private person and you're doing private private person you're doing private people things that's totally understandable but be just be as loud about your journey be a, as loud about it as you have always been you know like there is nothing to be there's nothing to be ashamed of of going back to the united states of america and i'm gonna just be honest i want my daughter to to, to be able to make usd like we already have plans like to travel the world still you know we just gotta we just gotta sit down for a little bit and, and those are just the things that you have to do you know and everybody's like oh you're over there gentrifying yeah i'm, I'm, I'm mexican you know what I'm saying i got mexican residency i'm doing the same thing my mexican counterparts do i want to work in usd the ones who can work in usd educate my child in the u.s and and then i, I want to move about the country freely okay like It is what it is. Like, everybody wants a better life. You know what I'm saying? I have to make sure my daughter has the best life I can afford for her, that I can afford to give her. And let's just be honest. I think that public schools in the United States are better than the international schools here. If I'm giving you four or $500 a month, I expect my child to know a lot. I expect my child to be fluent in Spanish. I don't expect my child to be using the Google Translate app to do her schoolwork. I don't expect my child not to be able to order food at a restaurant and she's going to an international school that's 50 percent in spanish every day my child can order food at a restaurant and we're at home using youtube duolingo in my basic spanish make it make sense for me that's just me i am that is my own parental preference and i have been seeing this over and over and over on youtube you have to do what is best for your family your budget your lifestyle you know and everyone feels like there is one size fits all cookie cutter way on how you're supposed to live when you live in mexico how much you're supposed to spend how where you're supposed to go how you're supposed to look how you yeah i i it's, it's rubbish, people. It's rubbish. Do whatever it is that makes you happy and makes you feel comfortable. That's ultimately what it comes down to. I hope I have enough teeth because I have rolled more, more than enough, I hope. More, more than enough. I think I have covered, I think I have covered everything. What happens to all of my stuff? It's for sale. Everything is for sale. I gave friends and family dibs on whatever they wanted. Most everybody I know here has a full house already. <laughs> everybody I know here has a full house. So there would just be like little things like, oh, I need this, I need that, I need coffee pot, I need this, like, oh, okay. Okay, okay, so some things are already promised, but for the most part, my entire house is for sale. And baby, this is a good old fashioned yard sale, okay? It will be on November 9th. It'll be on November 9th. It is a yard sale. It is, when I say yard sale, think about, oh, it's a pretty yellow bird. Yard sale, there's nothing in this house over fifty dollars the fifty dollar item is the sofa the six piece outdoor patio set the reclining day bed that's five months 
that's five months old. And that's it. Everything else is under $50. I can't think of anything else over $50. That's it. That's those are the, the most expensive things. The this TV is like uh this TV is $40. The other TV I uh, the other TV in my bedroom I already sold to a friend for I believe $35. I have two smaller TVs, they're $25. I have bookshelves, I have books, uh, uh, side tables, all the, the pair, you know, I, I'm getting rid of, I have mature plants. Um, the refrigerator is $50, however, it's like the one of the very last things to go. As I was saying, everything, everything is for sale. Down to the wire, um, the big sale will be November 9th. And the biggest sale will be no, November 9th. And then I might do a secondary sale, but I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. This Anything that's left after the 9th might be a, hey, reach out to one of the, the charity organizations and have them to come pick it all up uh, two days before. Cause I plan to do a transition out so that everything can be cleaned. Uh, a few days prior into an Airbnb. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to get rich. So everything is a dollar. The dishware, the, the cups, the glasses, the um, the decor, the, the, the all of it. Every, everything, everything is for sale. Everything, everything, everything. Um, taking back, I'm only taking back the stuff that Janai recently got for her bedroom and clothes that fit. If it does not fit, it's not going back. Uh, we are down an item because, we're down a suitcase because Jax counts as a carry-on. Now, we finessed it coming here. <laughs> we finessed it coming here with um, a carry-on and Jax. I don't see how I can run the finesse going back. So I'm looking at it as pretty much we're gonna be down a suitcase. And I hate that for us. So yeah, we'll be going back with the least amount of stuff. It's winter time. We own very little winter clothing. So we'll be doing a lot of winter shopping when we get back. I have some winter wear in my storage um, which is why in the end, like at the end of my last trip, I was like, yeah, the storage is not empty. Everybody's like, that's insane. You should have emptied that storage a long time ago. You're absolutely correct because there is, there's not, there's not a thousand dollars worth of stuff in that storage. Um, let's do the math on how much I have spent. So it'll be 36 months in December. So I spent just under three grand, well, under uh, under three grand. I think I got like um, two months free as well. Mm, I don't know. I think I got 60 days free or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so we'll say I spent about $2,500 on the storage. Is my storage expensive? No, my storage is not expensive. Is there anything in my storage that I'm in? You know what, my Christmas tree, I have a really nice Christmas tree in here. Like a really, really nice Christmas tree in here. Uh, I had a few designer handbags. My jewelry was in there until August. So that was, the jewelry was probably the most valuable thing. There's a giant TV sitting in the floor, like a 60 inch TV sitting in the floor. So we have some stuff, but it's like nothing to write home about. I know what I was talking about. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> um, so yeah, the story. So we have some items to start, but baby, when I say we start from scratch, we have to buy beds and sofas, a car, clothes, uh, shoes. I have to buy work attire. Um, I donated all my work attire and my um, black tie clothing to a women's shelter before I left. So I don't, I don't, I don't have any, anything. I am starting from scratch. Now we also know your girl ain't the same size either. So, you know, the coats, my outerwear may fit, but baby, everything else, oh, not going to fit. I am no longer a size six. 
not a six. Who is not a six? I am not a six. I am not a six, nor am I an eight. I don't think there was anything larger than a 10. I'm certain there was nothing larger than a 10 in there. So yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. You heard that? What was that? A bird? So I um I don't this is why I don't wrote this is why y'all never see her in the videos because of this <laughs> the video. She doesn't want to be in the videos, but also it's just like all type of random stuff going on. So yeah, we have to um we have to do those things. So the first 30 days would just be us getting established. Editing this video is gonna be crazy. <laughs> Editing this video is gonna be crazy. I, I could just, I, I could already tell. I could already tell. I, I, could, I, I, I see the vibes. I see the vibes here. This video is, is going to be insane. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's that's where we're that's where we're at. So I'm gonna enjoy my last month here. Celebrate things. This is going to be our last Halloween here for a while. I don't know if people ask, am I coming back? I don't know. I cannot make statements like I'm coming back. I could go back to the United States and fall in love with the U.S. I don't have a disdain for the U.S. either. Like, <laughs> I don't have a sheer disdain. I just don't want to work. I just We got to be honest about some things. I just don't want to work. Uh, I think the cost of living is insane. I think the cost to raise a family is absolutely insane. I think the cost of healthcare is insane. When I was there, um, and Janai had, uh, you know, her allergies was acting up. It cost me $75 to buy basic allergy medication. And I'm talking about the off-brand Walgreens kind, not, not, not the name brand stuff. I think the Flonase was name brand. Um, but yeah, yeah, the cost of living is, is ridiculous. The cost of goods and services is ridiculous. You know, shout out to the United States Army for accepting me back in the day. And I have those, you know, benefits to help me. I have um, medical care because of that. My baby has medical care because of that. But had it not been for my service, I honestly don't think I could be um, as confident. I, I absolutely would have not maybe we can say maybe because my my retirement account is was 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 um very comfortable you know so having access to funds has made things a lot easier for me i'm sure somebody will be in the comments and talk about privilege and all that other good stuff i, I don't care we all have the same life you can now join the military service up to 44 years old if you would like to have access to some of the benefits that i have access to contact your local recruiting office okay and now they're taking people up to 44 and from what i understand my best friend who is a recruiter who was she just left recruiting uh you can score an 11 on the ASVAB. Mm -hmm. you, an 11 and even if you're eight percent overweight you can still join the military on a, like a weight loss program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so there's no excuse right you know there's no excuse for you not to join uh-huh we all got the same 24 hours what i did with my 24 hours at 18 19 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> What I did with my 24 hours when I was young and y'all was turning up in college and having a good time, and what you did with your 24 hours is not the same, okay? I'm enjoy my, I enjoy the benefits of what I worked hard for with my 24 hours, okay? Yeah, I, I, I am. I'm going to it. I'm not ashamed. I, I tell my daughter all the time, you are not, do not be ashamed of how hard your mother and father have worked for you to have the life that you have because baby it was not easy and if it was easy everybody could do it and if you don't have any disability limiting you baby please go down there and see somebody in some boots in a uniform and i promise you they will help you have access i tell people all the time if you don't have a plan join the military even though i had a plan but i still joined the military i'll tell y'all one day my why i joined the military story one day 
I'll tell y'all one day. Not today, though. <laughs> Not today, but one day. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all. I'm going to have a sale. I'm going to sell everything. We're going to live with the bare minimums the last uh, two weeks. Two and a half weeks. We're going to... I don't know. I don't know the dates, but anyway, we're going to sell everything. The goal is the goal is to empty out everything in the kitchen. Um, minus some plastic wear and some paper. Now y'all know I'm a glass girl, but some plastic wear and some paper products. And we're going to keep the fridge, air fryer, uh, fridge, air fryer, and microwave. Um, and everything else is going to go minus like a pot or something. And then we're going to keep our beds and that's it. And our clothes are going to go into suitcases so we can start transitioning back. Why am I staying to the end of the month? Uh, because my friend's birthday is at the end of the month and I really want to stay and celebrate with her. Like she's become my sister. Like she has really become my sister. Like the day we met, we just kind of been stuck together ever since. Like that's my sister now. So I want to stay and celebrate her birthday with her and then we'll go back and plus i won't go back before um thanksgiving because thanksgiving would be like the week i travel but baby i'm not about to give them like a ridiculous amount of money for these tickets you know I, the airlines are out of control so if we wait another week then it's feasible it's like we either have to go like next week or roughly after or like a, a few days after next week or we have to wait until the end of the month. So not to stress myself out, we're just going to wait till after um, after the holiday and we're going to go DM. So I think I answered every question that everyone has asked me. Am I sad about it? No. Am I mad about it? No. Would I like to stay in Mexico? Mm, a little bit, a little bit of yes. A little bit of yes. Yes, I mean, yes, but uh, I miss the U.S. right now. You know, I miss I miss the U.S. I enjoyed being in the U.S. when I was there. I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed shopping. I enjoyed being able to buy shoes that fit my feet. I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed seeing black men. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing black men. I enjoyed. Um, I enjoy being I enjoy dating you know I dated while I was there I enjoy I enjoy all of those things I would I you know some people are like oh I don't need a man baby I enjoy it I you know can I live without it yes but baby there is nothing like a black American man I don't care what nobody say the way they walk the way they talk the way they dress the way they smell oh my goodness like everything I thoroughly enjoy loves me a black man honey from infinity to infinity, honey. I loves a black man. So yeah, I enjoy that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with Mexican men. I'm just not attracted. And we've we've talked about that. Like I'm not gonna force something to be what it is. I'm not dating out my culture anymore. Um, you know, if I say, "Boy, you stupid," I want you to fully understand that I'm not calling you ignorant by any means. I just want to mean like you're you're silly and we're having a good time. So. It's so many things I am not willing to teach. I'm so sorry that, you know, a lot of women have bad experiences, but I have great experiences in life. And it's truly unfortunate. What else? Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm ready to go back. I'm ready for the transition back. And nothing in life is easy. So I know it's gonna be some challenges along the way but i'm ready uh my daughter's dad is ready he told me the other day he asked me like he take we we don't take we don't have beef we don't have any beef but he was texting me like every day for like a couple days and i just said you excited <laughs> are you excited and he was like yeah <laughs> i was like okay like i, I get it because he kept like asking all the questions like you know all asking the questions and stuff i was like are you excited he was like yeah i'm excited okay all right cool like he's excited because when we're in the u.s on weekends she flies um to los angeles to spend not every weekend but you know every month or so um spring break holidays things like that she goes and sees her dad and her family there she was born there lived there until for six years i'm burning something hold on 
her dad is excited for her to come back. I love that for him. I love that for them. And guess who else I love that for? I love that for me. Um, one thing I have said, it like, you know, being here has made me a full solo parent, like a full time solo parent. Um, and I think it's crazy. Like I true, I truly enjoy my tribe. I appreciate, I appreciate my, my tribe. Um, so moving back to the, to the U S she'll have access back to her tribe. I'm sure she is very excited about that because there are all the people who spoil her, you know, and everybody has something to contribute. You know, your tribe is established for a reason. They all have something to, to teach different than, than what I can teach. I don't have a lot of strength. Example, I can't cook, you know, not a gift of mine, but definitely something that she can learn from her family. Definitely she can something she can learn from her family. I have made amazing cooks in my family. I just I just so happen not to be <laughs> not to be one of those people. And um, you know, she she'll she'll have the opportunity to to spend more time with her family these teeth look crazy y'all i i mean i don't even have the words for it like they are crazy looking the bottom teeth look completely different from the top teeth uh <laughs> what else um yeah i guess that's it i guess that's it that's all i have at this point i'm sure that y'all will think of something in the comments, do I still love Mexico? Yes. Um, my residency, I will renew in a couple years. Um, will I move back? I don't, I full time, I don't know. Um, in a couple years, we may try out somewhere else. Um, we love Thailand when we visited there. So maybe we'll try that out. Um, I don't know, you know, this is just, this is just life for what it is. So when I shifted my content from Merida content, um, it was truly because I was tired of talking about Merida. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not trying to build my platform on, on, on Merida and nor will I build it on the next location I go to because the, the reality is, the reality of it is I'm not trying to get paid for that specific location. I'm a lifestyle blogger. I'm not a um, consultant of any sort. Uh, I'm not trying to pay my bills off of YouTube. I, I, don't, I don't really like people that much. I mean, I love people, but I don't want to deal with people's problems. I got, I, I got my own problem job. I got my own problems. Anyway, I have lost my train of thought. I've lost my train of thought, so I'll probably pick the video back up tomorrow at Trunk or Treat. My goal, my goal, I said it's a goal, is to, uh, <laughs> is to vlog this, vlog me setting it up. Theoretically, it should be easy. It should be green background, black background, grid take scissors scissors should be on this type of right there take scissors cut hole attach string to the top of this thingy tie that to the top of the car through the little the little latch part tie that to the top hold it should hold the weight of the the thingy up and that's it so tonight when i go to sleep all of these pieces should be dried and most of them should be most pieces should be attached together we have one minor issue i don't know where my glue gun is i don't know where my glue gun is i need the glue gun to glue the bottom or the top of this to the bottom of that 
and I need to make a um like something like to put at the back to put at the back to hold it together um and then I need to take that piece and put it inside the other mouth but the other mouth I still have to make it and paint it so theoretically tonight I'll make I'll glue this these pieces together and then I'll then I will make the make the exterior mouth and then tomorrow I'll just assemble it but it'll be like hot glue and electrical tape because that's what I used to make the little worms body so this is duct duct accordion duct if you've been following along and I spray painted it white and then to make the black banding I used this scotch electrical tape and then the head will come out of here well actually will come out of here this is the it'll come out of this end and then I'll build out the outer head mouth mouth outer mouth child yeah y'all know what I'm talking about right no maybe Okay, does that help? Okay, so. Yeah. So the, this part, that's what this is. That's the top part. It's gonna be a little wider. And then the outer mouth, I still have to cut that. It's just cardboard and paint. You see? Y'all yeah, see? I gotta figure out how to get a sheen on the eyes of, ooh, maybe. Clear fingernail polish. So this is the eye for it. And then these are the, uh-oh, let's try. These are the teeth. But I think I'm gonna have to remix the teeth. I have to make some more teeth. And I think that's it. Oh, I need to make the little tail for the top, huh? I mean, the fin. Fin? Is that a fin? Do worms have fins? I don't know. I can do that out of cord cardboard too. Cut some two little pieces and then some electrical tape. Sandworm, that's what it's called. the sand this is the other another rendition of it but this I like this one the best mm -hmm. oh and then I have to paint the red spots on the nose and mix some black and some white together and make the gray flow around the eyes. We got this and I have to braid, I have to wash and braid your eyes here. That's really the, that's really the, 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 the problem. That's, that's really the problem. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let me, let me get to this. And I'll pick up with y'all tomorrow. We'll see where we got. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how far we got <laughs> with this project uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully, we can stay on task because I get distracted real easy. Okay. All right. Bye.